the original. Here he is, the one and only, the king of the one-liners, ladies and gentlemen, Henny Youngman. <laughs> <laughs> Take my wife, please. I had my wife down to Atlantic City. She gambled all night. Six in the morning, I said, let's go to bed. She said, I don't like the odds. <laughs> I thought somebody might like it. <laughs> anyway, Tammy Baker was supposed to be here, but she broke her leg, her eyelash fell on it. <laughs> they took her makeup off, they found Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Milton Brown was supposed to be here but he had an operation, a charisma bypass. <laughs> Folks, I feel good. I just got back from a pleasure trip. Took my mother-in-law to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> my mother-in-law's in the Olympics. She's a javelin catcher. <laughs> I've been traveling all week. I got in an airplane. I had three pieces of luggage. I said, I want this piece to go to Miami. I want this piece to go to Cleveland. And I want this piece of luggage to go to Toronto. He says, we can't do that. I said, you did it last week. <laughs> the food on the plane was fit for a king. Here, king, here, king. <laughs> you, think I, you think we have headaches? How about the presidential nominations? Mr. Dukakis, there's a guy who complains about headaches. Mr. Dukakis, when you get out of bed, at feet first. <laughs> Mr. Bush, is he mixed up? He went to a luncheon last week. He kissed a sandwich and bit the baby. <laughs> I want to... <laughs> I want to tell you, people are mixed up. I came out of the Carnegie Deli in New York, and a panhandler walked up. He said, I haven't eaten in two days. I said, you should force yourself. <laughs> Any Italians here tonight? I love the Italian people. During World War II, an Italian girl saved my life. She hid me in a cellar. It was in Toronto. <laughs> I feel good. I met a wonderful doctor. I gave a guy six months to live. Couldn't pay his bill. Gave him another six months. <laughs> a man said, Doctor, I'm having trouble home with my love life. What should I do? He said, take off 20 pounds, run 10 miles a day. Man calls him two weeks later. Doc, took off the 20 pounds. I've been running 10 miles a day. He says, how's your love life? I don't know, I'm 140 miles away. <laughs> Doctor put a stethoscope to my heart. I said, Doc, how do I stand? He said, that's what puzzles me. <laughs> Doctor said to me, get undressed. I said, take me out a few times first. <laughs> I'm standing there with no clothes on. The doctor said, go over that window, stick your tongue out. I said, but what is that mad at my neighbor? <laughs> I said, Zach, I got shingles. He tried to sell me aluminum siding. <laughs> I wish my grandson were here. I got a grandson. I said, what are you doing now? He says, I'm a mom back. Stands behind a truck. He said, mom back. <laughs> he does dumb jokes. You ever see a dumb guy whistle for a cab? Taxi. <laughs> Two dumb guys walking along. One said, look at a dead bird. He said, where, where? <laughs> I wish my son Gary was here. He's busy with the children tonight. My son Gary's a movie director. I know him personally. And uh, <laughs> I have a scene for him. I'm going to try and do it. Now, picture this. I'm sitting at a bar having a drink on a stool. Over here's a man having a drink. He falls down. I pick him up. Bartender, do you know where this man lives? I'll give him a lift home. Tell me where he lives. I grab the guy, pull him down to the car, put him in the car, he falls in the back seat. I get to the address they gave me, I pull the man out, he falls down three more times. I pick him up each time. I knock on the door, Mrs. Welser, I brought your husband home. She says, where's his wheelchair? <laughs> I love this crowd. Penny Youngman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Penny. How many years have you been in this entertainment business? I've been in show business now for about 60 years. Now, you must have... Oh, 60 years. You must have done it all. Is there anything left? What more could you want? Well, all I want is an audience with an audience like you. I want to hear you laugh and applaud the things I do. Go on and call me a ham. 
I don't give a damn. I'm confessing that it's true. All I want is an audience with an audience by you. Thank you very Mr. Much. Henny Youngman. Thank you, Henny. Have a good time.